Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a highly requested, it's been requested for years, class that I do, interval yoga style, Ali style class, yoga with a wheel, yoga wheel. So finally it is here and it is going to be intense, involved, full body yoga workout type of thing. We're gonna work on strength, on flexibility, on balance, on core, and uh, we're gonna do some back bends with the wheel. I find they're very involved. They open the space between the vertebrae in a really, really juicy way. Mm, we'll do some things, my style, like um, uh, Bulgarian split squats and certain things like that that are strenuous, building strength, building legs, building booty. We'll do a little bit of core, so the class will be fun. I'll give you a few variations of arm balances. I know a lot of you are still a little scared of arm balances, so I'll give you a different way of doing them with the wheel. And the balancing that it provides is very interesting. So I've been, <laughs> I've been asked to do a yoga with a wheel class in my version of it, obviously for quite a while and finally Pete's Choice offered to send me a set. I said yes, of course, because although I have had a lot of offers before, but I said yes, I will do um, a, a class with your set and they offer a few uh, sets, extra sets, for some of my um, viewership, for some of my viewers and yogis. So if you're local to Austin, message me, I'll announce it in about two weeks, uh, it will, I will uh, give them away. So I'll announce it on um, Instagram in the next week or so. And I have a few sets to give to local yogis. I'll do a little meetup, just, a, just not even a meetup. We'll just meet up and I'll have a few sets for you if you message me and I'll let you know if you are the winner. And you have to be local. So, um, and I'll announce it on Instagram with more details because I don't want to take up the, all this space here and it, uh, there will be the details. Mm. Uh, I, uh, he, they have, they sell on Amazon, but you can uh, follow them on Instagram. If they also have a website, you can see that. Um, I, um, I will list it below. I wanted the three wheel set because there are three different sizes and they come in handy for different things. Plus, and for different size people and for different exercises. Plus my four year old loves to um, uh, do stuff with the little one. That's just a, like a baby mini wheel. And it has quite a few applications for us grown ups. So I wanted the three set, uh, which comes with a yoga strap. Um, otherwise they also just have the, uh, the regular wheel by itself. Uh, so check them out, I'll list them below. This is a, a part of the ongoing series on my website. I'm doing really um, a summer theme, very intense, shorter classes that are classes to get you in shape for the summer in a short amount of time, old school, old school Ali uh, style uh, classes, interval yoga classes, fun classes, classes that are intense, um, jumping, cardio, strength, yoga with weights, all, all that juicy stuff, lots of core, lots of back strength, lots of upper body strength, lots of booty leg building and all of that, all that juicy stuff. So come to my website and all of your summer needs will be covered. This summer I'm pre-shooting there and I have really strong good classes. All right, so, Let's begin and let's flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen through the crown of the head, chin part low to the floor, spread the toes open, and let them drop, let the toes drop, spread out, open, the arches lifted, filling the four corners of the feet, activating the inner, outer edges of the feet, and as you activate the feet, you will feel that alignment moving like a wave along the kinetic chain, moving up into the legs and thighs and pelvis, perineum activating, core activating, lower back activating, the spine elongating, shoulders back and down, the chest opening, you feel it like a wave. 
building up. Building up and opening you up, lengthening you, straightening you out. And as you open the chest, you feel your breath deepening, diaphragmatic breathing. Mula Bandha engaging, back of the rib cage, lifting. You can feel your rib cage here. And let's inhale the hands over the head. Lift, lengthen. Reach out to one side. Really lengthening that entire left side of the body. Back to center, reach over to the other side, lengthen. back to center exhale behind hands behind your back interlacing the fingers press the hands away from you and away from your back so towards the floor and away from you in dual direction dual focus soften the chest and you can twist to one side here look over the right shoulder twist to the left at the same time lengthening through the crown back to center forward fold keep your knees slightly bent shake the head look over to the left and right softening the face muscles relaxing the back of the head the neck allowing everything that you've been holding on to to just drop so the space between the vertebra opens the fused places, the f places that feel fused by tension, muscle tension, etc. Everything just dropping, relaxing, realigning. Deep breath. Smile. Smile back at yourself. And you can twist the hands over to the left, look to the right, opposite side back to center chair with a clasp shift the weight onto the right leg take the left leg back warrior theme to high lunge open and let's bring the hands over to the left hip look over the right shoulder a nice soft twist back to center humble warrior come halfway up step to the front in a forward fold chair with a clasp shift your weight onto the left side take the right leg back warrior three with a clasp step it back high lunge look up lengthen that neck and chin that's part of the yoga for face it really tones the the neck the jaws and neutral bring your hands over to your right look over the left shoulder lengthen open twist realign and back to center humble warrior step it at the front forward fold chair twist to the right twist to the other side back to center Inhale, coming up, 
lift, release, and shake it out. You can swing your arms side to side, giving even more loose space, looseness to the muscles and ease space in the spine. Here, this is an eye exercise as well. Follow with your gaze along the trajectory of the movement. So the gaze will follow where the neck goes, where the head goes. Without restriction, just follow, 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 follow. Relax the eyes. Really powerful for relaxing the eyes after if you've been looking at the screen. Or in general, if you tend to hold tension in the eyes. In the eyes, maybe even the 11s. Great. Grab your yoga wheel. I'll be using the three of them, but if you just have one, just use that one that you have. <clears throat> and we're gonna step at the front, grab the wheel between the hands, reach up over the head, drop the shoulders down, shoulder blades back into the back, and feel a lift in the rib cage in the torso, everything elongating. Activate the feet again, reach over to one side, center, opposite side, center, one more time, and one more time. And back to center, reach in front of you, a mild squeeze of the wheel between your wrists or arms, however you want to hold it. You can even put it um, in your hands. Anyway, so I'm holding it somewhere at the wrist hand level and or base of the hand level. And you're going to shift onto the right leg, step back, twist to the right, step at the front. One, two, three, four, five. Here we're gonna, for the next five, we're gonna lift the left knee up and uh, wheel above the head. So this really activates the entire core balance here. And as you lift the knee, flex the core and back. Two. Three, four, five. Great. You can do a circle here over the head. And step it at the front. Lift. Hands in front, squeeze. This is working the shoulders, working the chest muscles. Let's go. Take the right leg back, twist. One, two, three, four, five. Now lift up and knee, squeeze the belly. Two, Three, it's involved. Four, five. And step it back a few circles over the head. And straighten the legs. Face the long side of your mat. Take either your one wheel or the big wheel and bring it in front of you. Push the booty back, hands onto the wheel and lower down here, lengthening, opening the back and the shoulders.
Coming back up, one hand onto the wheel and we're going to twist arm to the left, left arm up. It gives you a little extra change. That's very juicy. Ringing the back out and change and change. It gives you a little extra zing here. And back, back to center, open the feet out, plie, grab your wheel, and we're going to, again, keep your wheel be, between your hands, gentle squeeze, you don't have to really hard, do a hard squeeze, but gentle squeeze here, activating the back muscles, and we're going to do plie, come out, one side, side bend, plie, opposite side, really lengthen both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the wheel in front of you, plie. And we're gonna do one twist. Squeeze the wheel between the hands to opposite side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab your small wheel and take a seat on the wall. This I have been including a whole lot in my classes with, with a block. I really love it. It activates the, the pelvic floor. It strengthens the pelvic floor, of course the booty, uh, the quads, the inner thighs, the core, press your lower back into the wall. You're gonna squeeze the smaller wheel. And if you have the bigger, then <clears throat> try, try with that. Otherwise you can just keep the wheel if your big, wheel is really big. And pull the belly in, draw it in, squeeze. Everything activates this entire structure here, which is part of the core, upper thigh, inner thigh, Perineum, pelvic floor, mula banda perineum. Squeeze, release, squeeze and lift the lower belly up. Release, squeeze, release. I have good core exercises prepared for you for later. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze. And when you squeeze, you lift mula banda, lower belly. Release, great. From here, press yourself out and away from the wall. And grab your average size or big wheel. You can hold a wall here because all of those are the strength plus balancing. And we're gonna move in with, with the fun, fun Bulgarian split squats. Shin bone onto, um, Place the shin bone onto your wheel, take a, a, a white lunge, and we're going to lower back. And here, there, there is a variation here. We're gonna do split squat, uh, uh, staggered squat to split lunge. So you're gonna press back, all the load is on the left leg, right leg onto the wheel, and split squat. When you do the split squat, you're not putting any weight onto the wheel side leg. It's keeping it off the floor for you. So you're loading onto the left. I've been loving those staggered squats. It's, it's like a one-legged squat, but it's staggered squat. You square your hips, you lower down, you push through the left leg. It activates the booty if you do it the right way. And now this is <laughs> the kicker because instead of just coming out of it, we're gonna go into 
Bulgarian split squat, you can hold a wall. All right, my butt is already on fire just from the explanation. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Really load that left leg. Five, Ooh. six, seven, one more, eight, goodness, that was something else, opposite side, you can give it a few massage hits. And we're gonna go over to the other side. Focus, this takes balancing as well as strength. So it's quite a beneficial move. One, split squat. Two, push the hips back. Three, four, a very focused move. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's it. I gave you one extra because of all the demonstrations on the other side. Take a break. You can do shamanic shaking. And one more set. Use a wall if you need to. Let's go. It's a really focused, good move. It will, give, it will build you all, all on the back side. One, two, push the hips back, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. All right, opposite side. Take a nice white lunge and let's go. You can hold a wall and let's go. One, keep the hips back. Two, Three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. I can barely finish the eight one. This is a strenuous move. And, and figure eight with the hips is a little in move, fluid move, flowing water move. <sighs> Grab your block, uh, sorry, your wheel and you're going to bring your hands inside if you have a big wheel. Most people have this standard size. So inside and you're gonna push slightly out. Again, don't push too hard, give it just a touch of, touch of tension. If you have the smaller wheel, then press your hands inward. That activates more of the chest. And 
reach over the head not way over just over the head without uh, putting the shoulders way back you don't want to over over strain them and here we're gonna shift onto the right leg take the left leg back into warrior three step back into high lunge five jumps one two three four five with the back activated warrior three five jumps one two three four five one more set one two three four five step at the front and give it a break shake it out opposite side without too much rest stepping onto the left leg warrior three be careful press this out or in if you have the smaller one my back is on fire goodness step it back one two three four five gentle pressure out warrior three one two three four five warrior three one two three four five and take a big breath bring your wheel underneath your right shin bone and take a plank so adjust it if you have to adjust it a few more times until you get the the balance of it do that from here we're going to extend the left leg back and bring one knee at a time in one two three four five and take a break heart that's hard hard in a good way I need a challenge you want your balancing stabilizing core muscles to activate all right spread the fingers open and let's go over to the other side one two three four five moving on with a little break you're going to place the wheel onto your right under your right thigh and you can place a pillow underneath your face here because we're gonna do a little bit of an arm balance lower lower one form forearm down one up and you're going to take the left leg up great change sides a variation of an arm balance with a little bit of assistance here you still have to stabilize you still have to work one forearm down balance and lift you can rest your ear down in this inversion and release all right a few more knee 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 tucks with the wheel really challenging those are kind of pilates style moves where you can do few reps and because they require so much focus they charge your core just the right in the right way wheel underneath the shin the shin bone this time 
This time let's start in a closer alignment here. So instead of all the way back, you're gonna be somewhat in an all fours alignment. Bring the shin bone under, same thing. Knee in, knee in. Knee in, knee in. Five, opposite side. Spread the fingers open. Make yourself comfortable with the wheel alignment and, and wheel balance. And let's go one, two, three, four, five. Great. Down dog. You can, if you have a handy place, the medium or small wheel between your legs between the upper uh, lower thighs right above the knees for a little bit of adductor activation here Come down onto your knees. <clears throat> and we are going to place the forearms on the floor, plank, either a bigger or a smaller wheel here. And you're gonna assist, use the assisting to open here. Up dog with assisting. You can look over to the right and to the left. And up. And release. Grab your wheel with your hands and you can place the wheel down and just push back towards the body. Extended puppy pose. All right, assisted inversion. Place the wheel, either the bigger or medium wheel, on, on, under one hip flexor. So for me, it's the left, and you take the right leg up. You can hold it or you can change a few times. So under the hip flexor, chaturanga alignment, you're gonna Lean forward and take the left leg up. One more time on each side under the hip flexor. Chaturanga alignment, you're going to lower the chin down and take, take one leg up. Last one. That should give you a run for your money. It's still strenuous assistance or not. <sighs> and something I've been adding into the recent classes, booty and hamstring activation. So you're gonna put any wheel. Obviously the smaller one is more convenient. Uh, the medium one would work as well. Between a block works here as well, but the wheel is a way more comfortable because obviously it doesn't have edges. <laughs> and you're gonna place something right here that allows you to squeeze and activate that muscle and you're going to come into heel lifts onto all fours, reach and squeeze. Reach with the heel, squeeze. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. I've been doing this with the block. This is way easier. That's almost like the gym machines where you can uh, uh, do certain certain leg leg exercises. This is obviously a lot more body weight. One, two, opposite side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time on each side. One squeeze. Oof, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Time to open the back. Sit down onto your booty and bring medium or big or the standard wheel underneath your back. Lay, lay back. And you can roll here until you find your your spot. You can search for your spot to open up the upper back. Place the body down and just allow the upper back to elongate. Give it a few good breaths here and feel everything coming undone in the structure. If you have any areas of tension in the upper back, this is your time to just breathe into those areas. And to come out, you're gonna bring your hands onto the head and come out. Lay down, have your blocks prepared near you. And we're gonna bring, we're going to bring the standard block underneath. So semi plow underneath the lower back and you can rest here in assisted plow you can hold the block with your hands <sighs> assisted shoulder stand legs up lower tailbone on the block you can extend one leg down stretching the saws here you can even take Right leg down, right hand up. So that stretches the entire right area, sauce, the whole structure. Change. Feel the stretch. You can take both legs down. And if you have the medium-sized block, 
that would be appropriate here otherwise remove the block completely and go for bridge for me the medium size only works for a bridge and it does a fabulous job in lengthening the spine in areas where I, would, I may not do it wheel not block I've been doing a lot of stuff with blocks too So this is all, all play and figuring out your body. It's not gonna look exactly the same for every person. Some people are very bendy in certain, especially the back um, bending poses. I stay on the conservative side for my body. Uh, some people don't mind going very deep with back bends. I personally choose to go conservative with the back bends because uh, it feels appropriate for me. I've done deep back bends too. In the past, I find them not ne necessary for me, as long as I do back bends in general <laughs> for maintenance. So experiment here, everybody will be different here. You might be, be very bendy, not bendy. You might wanna place the block a little higher, a little lower, more loading on the legs, etc. This is something you figure out by just using it. One more time, you can extend one leg. Left leg extends left arm over the head sauce and the whole front of the body stretches and opens change sides great one more time take one leg up when you're ready the other for assisted shoulder stand assisted that can be also assisted plow so you don't go all the way over that still benefits the thyroid it's still an inversion it still brings the legs up but you have a rest that can be done also with a block assisted plow <sighs> You can bring the legs a little forward over the head. One legged bridge, take one leg down for just to come out of this, then the other leg, then press onto the heels and feet. Take the block away. <sighs> take a little break here before we continue with the core. You can bring the legs left to right, relaxing the pelvis, the hips. Grab your wheel overhead not all the way to the floor so have a little angle here in the shoulder so it doesn't go into a straight line and meaning the hands are off the floor and we're going to reach up and forward extend with the extension you activate the upper core a little bit of a stomach vacuum two three four, <sighs> ten, <sighs> bring the block between your calves, 
legs up, squeezing the block. So we're activating again the legs. This really activates more of the core than if we just did the same without. And we're going to reach over, head and right hand to the left leg, left hand to the right leg. One. And now you put the legs inside the wheel. It will work for most standard size wheels. Um, that's the big one for me. <sighs> Press the palms of the hands together and let's go both hands on one side. Over the head, both hands on the other. Ten. You can rock a few times until you come up and and grab your wheel. Press it again between the hands, lean back, open the chest, drop the shoulders back and down, side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten, poses forward. A little break. One more set. So keep the arch in the lower back going, really pull the belly in. Pose is forward, again, really keep that alignment. Engage the upper core, lower core. And lay back down. We're gonna activate the lower belly too with bicycles with toe dips. I'll just demonstrate the first rep and after that we'll begin. So knees bent. Elbow to opposite knee, toe dip. So everything happens simultaneously. You do have to think about it all. You have to think about the shoulders back and away so you're not crunching here. Keep it relatively open. At the same time, as you dip the toes, you are activating the lower belly, the lower core, and you can use Molabanda. You can really pull the TBA in towards the midline and you're also working on the obliques, the entire core. Four. Whew. 20. Yoga abs, take the left leg up, right leg extends away from you, on to the outside here, change. <sighs> 
We'll do one more set, take a break. All of this will give you very defined abs. Not necessarily a six pack. <laughs> Most women don't want that, but it will give you that defined structure. And if you are a man doing that, it will give you the same defi definition. Take a break, let's do one more set. Just, just because it's so much fun. <laughs> it's such amazing fun that we'll repeat it. More, more is better <laughs> when it comes to, to jokes. <laughs> let's go one, two, five, six, seven. 10. Ooh. Let's do a full on plow now. You can keep your block near you if you want to come out of plow and rest in semi plow, in assisted plow after. And you can just do that with your wheel. <laughs> but we can just do a full plow too. After all the back bends, that gives you the different, the different way. And shoulder stand. Knees over the ears. And you can come out into the block underneath the somewhere underneath the tailbone coming out of shoulder stand into assisted shoulder stand you can extend one leg down again for one more so a stretch they really um I find them very beneficial, the saw stretches, when you do one side at a time, you could of course do both uh, sides. Um, there is a little more benefit, as far as I'm concerned, when you also do, or make sure to add one-sided stretches as well. If you have saw issues, do look into the saw right. I did one video on it, it's a, it's a little, um, so a stretch, this does about the same too. Um, you can, the sauce, uh, so right can massage it here. This can stretch it. And one more assisted bridge if you want to. And you can move it around. You can roll around here, be careful, but you can do, you can find your a juicy spot. To come out, take your time and you're just gonna activate the feet a little more and keep the alignment without the pose and then slowly unroll or roll down on the floor. You don't want it to be gradual because we did open quite a bit.
roll onto your side and come up to sit it and a little bit of a hip opener here right knee down left knee over walk your heels towards you and you can glide to one side here left knee over left side A few more do whatever feels beneficial whatever elongates you opens the hip center you can bring the, the wheel in front and stretch a few times forward keep the hips back so they're keeping the contact with the floor and you're just exploring the flexibility of the hips here this is very much like pigeon and let's come out change sides a few glide overs to your right right knee over You can tighten the or deepen the pose by bringing the feet a little closer. Keep the sitting bones down as you stretch, as you elongate, reach in front if you want to. Keep your hips back and down. This really gets into the hips. All right, a twist. Foot on the floor, right knee up, left arm up, twist, look behind. Change sides. pigeon you can keep the block here for a parasympathetic nervous system activation as we bring the forehead onto something usually either a block here the wheel would work very well it helps to activate stimulate balance the parasympathetic nervous system which is often a problem in Western societies where we're always in um, in a sympathetic state of um, constantly running stressing out constantly in action which is beneficial of course if we are able to rest at night so as long as we follow the cycles of being very active um, for a period throughout the day and then very relaxed or the second part of the day or whatever period is your rest time, we're fine. We're able to recoup, recoup restore, heal. This pose with forehead down onto something helps to really um, activate or balance the parasympathetic nervous system. The beauty of the three blocks is that you can actually adjust your height here. I could use the lower one. Obviously for tighter hips, the biggest wheel would be better.
beautiful. Coming out of your hip, hip waves, hip figure eights, opposite side. Level the hips, lengthen the spine, lift the ribcage away from the hips, lower down. And coming out, prepare for Shavasana. You can just do Shavasana, you can do one more assisted back bend, opening the upper or the lower back, however you want to do it. And stay here for a few moments, bringing your awareness uh, to the central axis of the body, withdrawing the senses, moving inward, and allowing everything, all the noise, all the fluff, all the distractions to slowly dissipate. They travel away from you as you travel deeper into yourself. Everything begins to feel distant, it begins to disappear, to become smoke, to evaporate, to move away, to be far away on the horizon until it disappears. And you move inward towards the true you, the true self. Allowing yourself to reside in this space for a few moments in a sense, recentering, returning back to yourself, to the true you, to the truth of who you are, and then taking that with you for the rest of the day, coming from a place of being centered, connected. Stay here for a few moments. And remember to flow with strength and ease. Namaste.